So after the mechan stick proof, how the peptide bond formation takes place to produce a polypeptide. So such polypeptides when they are termed as proteins. So we have to learn structure of proteins. The protein structure explained in four different roots. Four different roots. Before going to this, the protein molecules are classified into two types. Protein molecules are classified into two types. They are number one, fibrous proteins. And second one is globular proteins. Before going to explain how the structure of proteins, we have to know the types of proteins available in nature or available in the living organism body. Two types of proteins are available. They are fibrous proteins and globular proteins. What are fibrous proteins? When polypeptide, a long carbon, sorry, a long polypeptide chain is present, they are like a straight line. The fibrous proteins are represented as a straight line. The huge amount of amino acids arranged in a straight line, they are called as fibrous proteins. So here fibrous means thread type of structure. Thread type of structure. What is thread type of structure? Generally, one amino acid, here is, it is connected to another amino acid, it is connected to another amino acid, it is connected to amino acid. So like a thread. So the resulting such type of amino acids are called as fibrous proteins, thread type of few. Examples for fibrous proteins, examples for this category, fibrous protein category are keratin, and myoglobin, keratin and myoglobin. Actually, Keratin and myoglobin are protein molecules. Keratin present in hair and also a cotton. Whereas myoglobin present in muscles. These two are different proteins. So this comes under category of fibrous proteins. Whereas globular proteins. What are globular proteins? The long polypeptide chain is going to participate in coiling like this this is here so just observe the difference between these two fibrous protein like thread type of structure a straight line whereas globular proteins so a long polypeptide chain due to some binding interactions what are the binding interactions generally observed in globular proteins hydrogen bonding and van der Waal bonding so due to two types of bonding character that means fibrous pro sorry in globular protein the far in in the formed polypeptide the hydrogen bonding and van der Waal bonding will show some aspects due to this the coiling so this type of rotation is called as coiling. The coiling takes place onto the protein, then it seems to be like this. Due to the coiling, the resulting protein will seems to be spherical shape. It is the third type of shape, whereas shape, whereas globular proteins are with spherical shape. So in this spherical, actually, for example, here is C double bond O carbonyl functional group of one amino acids in next one NH amino functional group of another amino acids in between oxygen and hydrogen there is the formation of hydrogen bond so due to these interaction all they are arranged in screw shaped model then the resulting proteins are called as globular proteins they are with spherical shape examples for these globular proteins are insulin 
and albumin insulin and albumin these two proteins are stands as an example for globular protein next one come to or extend our topic related to proteins from uh, from there to here structure of proteins the proteins structure represented in four different methods so those methods are called as primary structure primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure quaternary structure the proteins structure or shape represented in four methods four different methods so what are the four different methods are primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure and quaternary structure so what is primary structure 